Brittany Marie. Um, hey, Brittany Marie. Has said, okay, so read the following from Wikipedia, which describes the design intent for the Raspberry Pi. So this is in relation to the Raspberry Pi killer. Oh, yes. We did, right? Yeah, last week. Exactly. <laughs> and tell me if you still want to call the Odroid the Raspberry Pi killer. The Raspberry Pi is a series of small, single-board computers developed in the United Kingdom by the Raspberry Pi Foundation to promote the teaching of basic computer science in schools in developing countries. I just find the term killer to be a poor choice, considering the Pi's target market and its immense user, develop it, developer, hobbyist community. Sure. Do you still think that that fits? Don't get me wrong. I love the Odroid, and I'll probably order one. <laughs> but there's still a bunch of things that we would still be running on Pies in my house. Oh, sure. And, Absolutely. And, uh, and the whole r Raspberry Pi killer <laughs> is a tongue-in-cheek comment, Brittany Marie. You know that's true. <laughs> and really what it boils down to, I mean, it's the power. It's the strength of this thing. So if you, know, if you put David against Goliath you expect Goliath is the, the, the one who's going to win, even though it didn't quite work out that way. But in this case, <laughs> a bad example. <laughs> so Raspberry Pi for the win. <laughs> yeah. No, but okay, Raspberry Pi is a completely different market. I look at it this way. I want to build stuff. I want to tinker. I want to do, I, I want to build things that do things. That's right. what the Raspberry Pi is to me. That's what being a maker is to me. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to develop. I want to be able to try new things. I want to be able to change my mind, go back, wipe it, and start over. Um, so the Raspberry Pi does that and does it well. It's perfect for that educational, get your feet wet, all that, okay? Now, when, when we as makers get to the point where the Raspberry Pi is no longer powerful enough and it is behind the times you have to admit Brittany Marie it is behind the times as far as technology goes because they haven't built a new one in too long and and so this the technology has shifted right like it doesn't do 4k right uh well I'm not sure I think I it think might it but uh but the technology itself as far as processing power RAM those kinds of things are far behind it the fact that it has a very very slow USB 2 controller with um S um SD card on that controller it's very very slow that way mm -hmm. as far as um, throughput goes for for but it, it's great for so many things so don't get me wrong the pi is amazing the pi 3 especially but if you're if you get to that point Brittany marie where it's no longer sufficient power wise and strength wise and uh, then it's time to bring in goliath and say you know i want something that's got more power i want something that's got more ram i want something that runs faster i want something that does away with sd and switches to emmc mm -hmm. and has usb 3.0 and gigabit ethernet so right. uh, so raspberry pi killer no that's that's tongue-in-cheek because the raspberry pi has its place it's a very cheap sbc and uh it it definitely is is good for a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and does a lot more than you'd ever expect it to do yeah i actually i have two raspberry pis that i yep. use i have one at work that we use just specifically for playing music oh yeah mm -hmm. volumio uh, volumio mm -hmm. yeah and then i have one at home that we use the retro pie like just cool. we use it for retro gaming like yep. and the thing is i love them both so right. much yeah absolutely there's definitely a place for it yeah so but Thank when I want to build something that has a RAID controller mm -hmm. and is able to render 3D video out of Blender in a reasonable time and has eight cores on its processors, <laughs> yeah, then. you know, you know what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm picking up what you're laying down, uh -huh. Robbie. Uh -huh. <laughs> And there are other SBCs that are in, like I'm looking at the the Fitlet 2, which we we're going to be reviewing coming up, and it is so incredible. Like the the specs on it, I think it's got 16 gigs of RAM, and so. a and a 64 gig um, uh, M2, I believe it has. I mean, we're going to be reviewing this in the in the coming uh, in the coming weeks. So, uh, but there are some devices that are coming out that just blast past the Raspberry Pi 3, but they're different use cases, mm -hmm. absolutely different use cases. Thank you very much for your comment. <laughs>